breaking news, Nigerians. Reaction as the federal government of Nigeria invites 65 world leaders for Bola Tinubu's inauguration. According to Porunch, about 65 world leaders, including heads of state, have been invited to attend the inauguration of President elect Bola Tinubu, who is sworn in as Nigerian's 16th president on May 29. Past presidents, diplomats, heads of international organizations, renowned Nigerians, and representatives of foreign government and organizations are also anticipated during the nation's transition ceremony. The inauguration ceremonies will commence on Thursday with Tinubu receiving the Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic and Kasim Shetima receiving the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. Representatives from Nigerian's traditional allies, including the US, the UK, Canada, and France, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, China, Germany, Finland, Jamaica, Japan, Israel, Turkey, and others are expected to attend the high-profile events. As expected, these developments elicited reactions on Facebook as it was shared by Punch on their official page. Simon Chukudi said to host them with taxpayers' money in a period where the country is facing a serious economic crisis, it is well known. One Cheku Bello said, Congratulations, may your reign bring peace and blessings to Nigeria and those who want to. These are reactions from Nigerians. May the reign of Ahmed Bola Tinubu bring peace, prosperity, and development for Nigerians. God will deliver all of you from the spirit of envy and hatred. Indeed, I'm talking to you. Oh. Why praying for these deliverance? Why praying for their deliverance? They pray for the spirit to come upon them during the election, the spirit of confusion, and God answer the prayer, and the confusion enter their party and their midst. Which deliverance are you praying for? Let them continue in their way. Don't mind that useless chukude. It is his forefathers' money in Biafra Land Republic, people from Bad Belay Republic, or allocation to their region. Nothing good to show for their development. Hey, don't mind the losers. That some God made will be the true winner of the election, but you people stole it. God did not listen to the seat. God knows Obi is not the winner and watches you people delivering yourself. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. As you can see, the Nigerian government is really very prepared to inaugurate the president-elect Bola Metinubu as the Nigerian president. Also record that President Muhammadu Buhari has vowed that nothing will stop president, uh, the president-elect inauguration. He said he cannot wait to hand over the office to the president-elect, make it run the go Niger Republic. President Mamad Buhari Nae Tokan, and he said nothing on earth can stop the president-elect Bola Metinubu not to be inaugurated as a Nigerian's next president. Meanwhile, Peter Obi and Atiku Abubaka are already in court for redress, they are contesting the process that brought Bola Metinubu, you know, as the president elect. They say the INEC, INEC rigged the election, you know, to favor the APC presidential candidate Bola Ame Tunubu. That Tunubu stole their mandate, and for that, the court should actually determine the true winners of the presidential election. But according to Punch, about 65 world leaders, including heads of state, have been invited to attend the inauguration of President-elect Bola Tinubu, 
who will be sworn in as Nigerians sustained president on May 29. The past president, diplomats, heads of international organizations, renowned Nigerians, and uh, representatives of foreign governments and organizations are also anticipated during the nation's seventh uh, transition ceremony. The inauguration ceremony will be commence, will commence on Thursday with Tinubu receiving Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic and Kasim Shetima receiving the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. Representatives from Nigerians' traditional allies, including the UK, the, the US, Canada, France, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, China, Germany, Finland, Jamaica, Japan, Israel, Turkey, and others are expected to attend the high-profile event. Well, Nigerians who have reacted to this are saying that um, to host them with taxpayers' money, they can't say you are inviting these people for this ceremony in a period where the country is facing a serious economic crisis. That is this government actually planning at all for this country, Nigerians? You go ahead, it's now. I am dropping it, uh, please. Let's hear from you. What's your take concerning this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for listening.